TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy November Part 2. Yeah. Uh, well, With your hosts, Pablo the, Gunner and the Ambassador. Uh, Slay J wasn't able to make it for Part 2, so we're doing it uh, right now for you. Yep. So we're going to be reviewing Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim Takes Off on Netflix. Yep. So let's jump into it. Now, was Scott Pilgrim Takes Off worth it? Let's talk about that. Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. That was something else. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is something else because it's not like the movie and it's not like the manga. I well, the, it's a pseudo sequel to the movie. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, because it's a uh, basically an someone meddling with the past to try to make their future better. Well, the the whole fact that it's called Scott Pilgrim Takes Off to me doesn't even make sense. Yeah. This show should have been called Ramona Takes Off. Yeah. Because this show is about Ramona. It's 100 it's almost like only the beginning and the very end even have Scott Pilgrim in it. And so everything else is Ramona, and I love that we got to venture her backstory and her relationship with these, with the exes, with these other characters, and we got to discover more about them. And that was really cool to get like the their side of the story too. So I love that. Like even Lucas Lee, like the reason he does it, he becomes this like pro skateboarder and everything, but she she broke with it, up with him and everything. Just like how, it really all makes it makes way more sense doing it this way. And I like that they all gave us something different. I just wish I would have known up front. But like I said, if you would have changed the, the title of the, the show, I would have known and wouldn't have expected something else. Loved the animation. Loved the music. You know, the story was interesting, weird, different. It's Scott Pilgrim. It is very Scott Pilgrim. So yeah. if you love Scott Pilgrim, you're going to love it. Yeah, it's a re- really good story and definitely takes a lot of changes but I do feel if you haven't seen the movie, probably a good idea to watch the movie before watching the series. Yeah, I mean, I say read the manga because I love the manga and the manga's phenomenal. And yeah, that's like but, the but like the references are tied with the movie. Yes, so that's why that's why I say see the movie because it really helps right. understand the show and the references they make to what's supposed to be the real reality like even my wife she didn't want to watch this she had no interest because she was like i've already seen the movie i don't need to re-watch it in an animated version and then i was like well it's and, and i told her because i heard from somebody else actually someone that we know uh, i think they're called amera media one of our uh collaborators or, or partners or whatever you know um networkers and they talked about it and they were like, this isn't the manga, this isn't the, the movie, this is something different. And I went, okay, cool. And I told my wife that and she was still like, yeah, she just was like, no, it's going to be the manga. And I'm like, it's not the manga, it's something different. And uh, so the little that she did watch, I think she liked, but that wasn't enough because they didn't, they didn't really sell it right. Yeah. And it was definitely interesting to see... Matthew Patel in a new light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to, to just see all the characters that didn't get much, uh, you and you saw that in this. And that's why, like, it was a huge improvement to me. I really liked it. And I think it's for anybody that's in a hardcore... I mean, I wish everyone would watch this because I love Scott Pilgrim. But if you're definitely into Scott Pilgrim, it's definitely for you. So that's... For those people, it's obviously, like, a strong must-see, you know... Even if you hate Netflix, <laughs> get it. Especially now, completely understandable. But um, get it just for that, I think. Yeah, I think it's worth watching. And and I suggest more people check out Scott Pilgrim. So I like, even if you don't, check it out. Get all things, because Scott Pilgrim, I love all that stuff. So just get everything Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I, I think I think it's a must watch. And I think, I think it's worthwhile... Just, uh, I would recommend watching the movie, which is on Netflix as well right now. Yeah. So it's a perfect time. Perfect pairing, yeah. So, all right, cool. Um, Merchandising? What's that? 
Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> Come, walk this way. Take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. Merchandising, merchandising. Where the real money from the movie is made. Spaceballs the t-shirt. Spaceballs the coloring book. Spaceballs the lunchbox. Spaceballs the breakfast cereal. Spaceballs the flamethrower. <laughs> the kids love this one. Last but not least, Spaceballs the doll. Me. Well, we are sporting some of our merch here. I got the Talk Nerd Me finished they them Mortal Kombat stuff. Uh, Slay J and I came up with this idea. He's the one that designed it. And and I have my info on the back. But yeah, don't get the white. It gets messy really easy. It looks good. These things are actually really tight though. This is a medium. So if you're if you're gonna get one of the these specifically, go with a large with the larger size. size. Like I'm fine with it, but when I take it off, my shirt also comes off. So like that's how tight it is. So as long as I'm not taking it off. Like when I'm in the gym or like finished with my workout or whatever, fine. The dudes in the gym don't mind because I work out super early in the morning when there's nobody there. Uh, but um, just don't do it at the fine fitness yeah, or yeah. a planet <laughs> fitness or you might be in trouble. guest starring in a TikTok video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> that guy in a little coat. That guy in a little coat. Don't. <laughs> that guy in a little coat. That guy in a little coat. Take it off, dickhead. I'm serious. Richard, what's happening? Oh. oh. Um, and then, of course, the ambassador's rocking the hour uh, Talk Nerd and Me design that's the Ninja Turtles uh, with the Raphael color. Uh, or you could just say the original color, because yeah. they all originally wore the red, and that's what I love about that. Rast the, the only one still rocking the red, but it fits him. But yeah, so you can find all of our stuff at tntmtheshow.com. And the Talk Nerd to Me stuff, I, I've, we've discounted, so it's a little bit cheaper than everything else. Um, and there's plenty of other stuff this month. Uh, or Yeah, so yeah. check it out. Talk Nerd to Me. Planet Earth.